Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night. Raw review. Yeah, this show is really fucking boring. But that's like an understatement here. It's really fucking terrible. So, it's best to say I don't think I miss much tonight. Just retarded shit going on. And, uh, thankfully I guess I woke up like the last ten minutes. Well, like... See, so yeah, I did fall asleep. Basically... Stupid shit happened, just retarded shit happened. I fell asleep during, I think, the fucking... What is it? The, the diva shit. What was it? Like, Shrek Flair Jr. or something like that? Uh, Rhea Ripley, Nikki Trash. And then I wake up, and then I'm thinking of my... Have I slept that long that this match is still happening? Because, like, I'm... Like, once I woke up, they're still having a match? You know, I will... I fell asleep probably before 9 watching this shit. And I woke up, like, in 10.30-something. And I see that they're, like, fighting. But then I come to find out, like, with the results. It's a different match? What the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you having the same people fighting? Didn't they already fought... I don't know. That's the size of the point. Overall, this show is retarded. SummerSlam is on Saturday. I don't know why it's on Saturday this year, but whatever. It, it's... Oh, my God. Like, fucking SummerSlam is, is this weekend. You know, you're, this is supposed to be a go-home Raw show. And, like, nobody's excited. Like, what the fuck are you doing? This is about to be the, uh, you know, WrestleMania of the summer or something. But it's like fucking our biggest part of the summer, and it's like it's nothing but horse shit. I tell you, nothing but fucking horse shit. What the fuck are you doing? Anyways, uh, grab your Coca Cola's word of fucking drinking my new there. I'm gonna need it myself to fuel myself because, eh, yeah, it is what it is. You know, oh shit, oh shit, cheers, motherfuckers, cheers, huh? Mm. Good stuff. You know, you drink it while, you know, maybe be nice and cozy with your nice uh, holiness, you know, your nice holy self. Maybe get some chicks to fucking snuggle with, with the holiest, you know, holiest attire. And make the bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. But you ain't gonna do that with this fucking show. Because they'll be like, what the fuck you watching, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways, let's talk about Raw. Let's see what the damage is, shall we? Oh boy, I can't believe... And I, and I come to find out. This week, it's gonna be like so much fucking wrestling. I, like, what the fuck are you doing? You seriously? Too much fucking wrestling. Like, Monday is Raw. Tuesday is fucking Annex Gay T. Wednesday is Gay W Dynamite. Thursday is TNA, but who's gonna fucking watch that shit? Uh, Friday is fucking. What's Friday? Yeah, SmackDown. And then fucking S SummerSlam on Saturday this year. And Sunday is the fucking Annex D Takeover. Are you fucking kidding me? Anyways. Uh, so yeah, let's fucking talk about this shit. So, show starts with Orton coming out, explaining why he RKO'd Riddle last week. Uh, he says he doesn't need friends and doesn't uh, need Riddle to help him defeat AJ Styles. Then Riddle interrupts us, Randy, you know, uh, I, I believe you're just teaching me how to do the RKO, bro. Th this is retarded. Okay, like, first of all, we already have R-Truth being the retard. And why is Matt Riddle the retard, but we're supposed to believe he's credible? You know what I mean? Why is he supposedly... I mean, if... You could probably explain, like, oh, you know what? That's because that's what weed does to you people. That's what the weed does to you children. Don't smoke weed. Then I would be like, okay, fuck it. You know, yeah, don't, don't smoke weed, kids. And if you fucking smoke weed, by the way, you're a faggot, okay? And that's what Matt Riddle is. He's a faggot, and fucking he's a retard. So, that would actually make sense. Maybe that could be his character. I don't fucking know. But literally, he's the, he's winning matches. We're supposed to believe he's the future WWE champion. He defeated Drew McIntyre for crying out loud. What are you doing? He defeated all these fucking former world champions. And we're supposed to believe this guy's a credible fucking wrestler. And he's a retard. Fucking A. Uh... Like we already have, have our troop being the retarded. Why is he the fucking retard as well? My god. Same fucking gimmick. Uh. 
They want he wants to have their tag team another chance. What chance? You guys only team up for like two weeks. Why is that a good tag? Who gives a fuck? You're a shit tag team. Why is this shit happening? Why? Why RK Bro is a thing? I don't fucking know. But this is how you got these r r r moronic fucking smarky fans that actually like this shit. They can go, you know what? This is just like the Rocket Sock Connection. No, it's not. You're fucking retarded. This is literally that like Team Hell No type shit. This is Team Hell No all over again, for God's sakes. Sooner or later, they're gonna bring back Dr. Shelby and fucking. Hey, you know, you, know, you guys should uh, enjoy some oral sex with each other. Um. Baby Styles and Almas interrupts. AJ Styles says Orton cheated last week, but won't be able to stop the colossal Almas tonight. Wow, that's interesting. Then Styles challenges Riddle to a fucking match, and Riddle accepts. Goes, wow, you know, isn't it original? Every time a, a segment happens, it's gonna lead to a match happening next. Cause who the fuck cares? Styles defeats Riddle. I really don't give a shit. <sighs> Not my hero. Apparently, someone has signed. <laughs> so, okay. Second match. This is where I fell asleep. I believe. Rhea Ripley defeats Nikki Trash. After the match, Nikki Trash attacks Ric Flair Jr. Comes into the fucking segment. I don't care. I, I, why is this happening? Uh, like, I don't know. I, I just can't believe they had two matches tonight. I really can't. Like, so much for having, like... Don't you have already enough women in this fucking shit roster? Oh, man. I, want, I wanted to go out for a walk, but then this show had to make me fall asleep. So I'm really cranky. Um, speaking of cranky, got... Uh, Shvere and Crank, uh, Shvere, Shitty and Cranky. I don't know who the fuck they are, the stupid Indians, because I'm not a fan. They're the sm these smelly fucking big Indians. They lose to fucking Jinder Mahal. Oh, not Jinder Mahal. Fucking Drew McIntyre. They're Jinder Mahal's fucking group. They lost in a handicap match. And guess what? The, the stipulation was if fucking McIntyre loses, he doesn't have his sword, Abigail. Or Angela. Like, yeah. Even though he doesn't use it, doesn't actually hurt people because he it can actually kill people. It's not like a sledgehammer where you can actually have some protection. You can't even protect yourself from a sword for fuck's sakes. So it gives you a question: If you're gonna tease using something, why tease it if you can't let it hurt the person? You know, at least with Triple H, when he has a sledgehammer, you use it on people eventually. Same thing with fucking like Sting with the bat. You know what I mean? Did or, or and barbed wire baseball bat by Mick Foley. Why is, you know, it's just retarded. Because you know you can't use it because you're actually going to hurt someone with that shit. Like, or actually kill someone. Or whatever. But yeah, if fucking McIntyre, like, if not just that, or if McIntyre loses, then fucking Veer and Cranky or where the fuck these uh, vile and fucking Cranky, smelly Indian motherfuckers, they, they will be on ring side with Jinder Mahal. Wow. Like, I'm interested in this shit fucking match anyways. Like, really, you're ruining McIntyre. Even though, like, don't get me wrong. I already fucking knew that this show was going to have a McIntyre. I already crapped on McIntyre before everybody crapped on McIntyre. But then, God forbid, when I give him a chance, they start to ruin him. You know, with this kid shit. But whatever. Like, fucking, this is why you shouldn't give your hopes up. This is why fucking you should never have wrestlers beat Brock Lesnar ever again. Because they're just going to be re doing retarded shit. Look at fucking Seth Rollins. He defeated Lesnar. Drew McIntyre defeated Lesnar. And they're all doing stupid shit. They're losing to Gay Riddle. Uh, John Morrison debuts his new talk show called Moist TV with special guests The Miz. Really? Moist TV. Why is he America's most minded? This is just a gay name. Like, wh why are you doing this homoerotic shit? I don't know what to fucking tell you. This whole trip stick is hat. Like, what the fuck? Morrison says last week we saw the Moist Miracle and he saw the Miz was able to walk again. Morrison asks Miz that he leaves faking his injury, but Miz claims that he wouldn't lie to Morrison. Damien Priest interrupts and Priest claims Miz is a liar and faking it so Morrison could push him around in a wheelchair. Miz let it slip and has been cleared for weeks. Morrison proposes a match with Miz versus Damien Priest and Priest accepts and shoves Miz in a kiddie pool. Then Damien Priest defeats The Miz. I don't know if... I don't fucking care. After the match, Sheamus tells Priest that the United States title is his goal. 
They won't allow Freeze to have his grimy hands on it. I really don't care. Another shit match to not be interested about. This is a shit. Oh, what, guys? Alexa Bliss vs. Eva Marie is announced for SummerSlam. If Braun Panties matches were a thing, I guess we wouldn't mind seeing this, but here's the thing. Alexa Bliss is now gay, uh, like a pedophile's dream, so I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to be uh, so, said I'm a pedophile for liking this, so I'm, it's some pedophile shit. And he looks like a child now. She's doing this Harley Quinn sister Abigail fiend crap. She needs to stop with that shit. And also, I know a lot of people like Eva Marie. Listen, God forbid at least Eva Marie has the, a, a, an actual reaction. But it's like she's not doing anything to buzz, uh, bring any buzz for this company. But here's the thing. Let's be honest here in terms of Pierce Rice. Some people think she's attractive. I would be the one to say that she looked attractive before leaving WWE. Now she has her stupid pink color hair. She's balding. I don't know why you guys like that shit. She's balding. And she looks like she's orange as fuck. I, I like, listen. Like, this is not me saying, oh, you know, I'm not. Like, oh, Donald Trump's orange. Like, who gives a fuck? Donald Trump is cool. You know, he's a guy. But for God's sakes, Eva Marie, she looks like she's like that orange. She's going to be a crack. Okay? So, I'm sorry. Eva Marie's not that attractive as she used to be, people. I hate to say it. And she's like all plastic looking now. She really is. Then fucking Eva tells you that, Drink, bring me Lily. Or where the fuck. So she's like a superhero, like, villain. I don't fucking know anymore. Miz and Morrison came up with a plan to appear at SummerSlam and a new day plugged her t-shirt in the background. I don't care. Mansoor defeats Mace with a roll-up. Mace should pop, fucking, he should use the Mace to actually legit kill everyone. I don't fucking know. Alma says he will kill the legend of Randy Orton and become the new legend killer. Really? Styles says since he already defeated Riddle, that makes him the moron killer. Huh? I don't know. It's not funny. Orton defeats almost by disqualification after Styles interfered and after the match, almost and Styles beat down Randy, but Riddle with the save. And then after the match, oh, Randy fucking thanked him and they all shake and hug. Wow! Like, he give up. Yeah. Oh! There's... You know what I realized? This is basically the same shit, but like more retarded with Rollins and Ambrose. Because at least with Rollins and Ambrose, if you remember a few years ago, they were like, oh, they were reuniting together. They were at least a team for like two years. And then fucking, it took like weeks, I guess, to grow, right? This, like this team only lasted for like a two weeks. It only happened because the fans called him RK Bro. It's not they were like an initial team. And then fucking A. You were supposed to believe, oh, we're ready. Why won't you take. Like, it's just retarded. It's just retarded and even more gayer. It's like fucking Team Hell No. It's Team Hell No type shit. But more retarded and gayer. Like Orton. He had. Like fucking last year. Like. Even though he wasn't. Let's be honest here. Yes. Didn't bring any buzz because the show was dying. But he was like the only decent thing going on. The guy who's feuding with Edge for fuck's sakes. That's an actual team to give a fuck about. Fucking feuding with Edge. He fucking take out these legends and shit. He became champion. You know? Honestly, I would think it would have been better if he was facing Edge at WrestleMania. But fuck it. I'm still happy with what we got. But like, and you know what? It's probably him. What he did was justified. Him defeating the Fiend at, at WrestleMania. I think that's funny. That's good. He deserved that shit. Because fuck the Fiend. Who gives a fuck anyways? But for God, say seriously. This is where he goes to now? He's got a team with Gay Riddle? Holy fuck. Help me. Like, this is what we want. Karen Cross defeat Jeff Hardy again. Why are these great? 50-50. But, I mean, like, he's defeating him again. Carry Cross is like least interesting. He's like, you know, I'm Hate Vanson or where the fuck, you know. Even though like he, he Hate Vanson then debut. There's nothing interesting about Carry Cross like now. Like you already ruined him. You know, or just really not really doing much with him. Like what's his real character besides oh you know, I'm I'm a dark, interesting char I'm a dark wannabe interesting character that I'm evil, blah blah blah. And then Jeff Hardy he's damaged goods. Why are you ruining Jeff Hardy? I don't fucking know. That's like fucking like, let's say if The Undertaker was still here or where fuck, like, in this generation, would you really ruin him? Come on here. Like, come on. Why are you ruining your old... Like, God forbid, a guy who people actually give a fuck about actually has some name value, you're gonna fucking ruin him. Yeah, that's, that's what we want. 
You could actually. Uh, I don't fucking know. It's. It's. I already made a video about this shit, okay? Even Marie stops, slaps Dewdrop two times for not bringing her Lily. Her name is Piper Niven! I'm seeing fucking sparks in the comments of this fucking Facebook post. Like, you know, her name is Piper Niven! Justice for Piper! Like, shut the fuck up, you faggot! You're a faggot! Oh, I just want to also mention that, you know, I want to thank our uh, medical people. Why does this have to do with wrestling? I literally saw that in a comment. Like, fuck you. Our true clear to Sarah try to pin Reggie but gets away in like a park. But then this is the same park apparently that Elias. The man formerly known as Elias says that the music did not fail him, but it was what isn't enough. He literally great stuff to reach Elias 2017 to 2021. <laughs> oh, oh lord, oh lord, oh lord. Uh, I don't know what to say, man. Honestly, Elias, you just bury yourself and get out of here, because you're like, don't get me wrong. I know I didn't really give a fuck about him because that's the thing. They kind of ruined him by the start. So who gives a shit? Because they were treating like this guy. Like, ugh, whatever. Because the guy seemed pretty cool and shit. But whatever. Then here's what fuck, what really fucking blew my mind. I thought this was still happening the entire night because I was seeing fucking Rhea Ripley and Nikki Ash on my TV screen still after my fucking like nap. Unintentional nap, and for some reason, it's Ric Flair Jr. and Nikki J Nia Jax defeating Nikki Ash and fucking Rhea Ripley. And then what frightened me the most, and I don't know why they had to fucking show this, they showed fucking Charlotte tapping his Nikki, what's her name? Fucking that fucking fat pig's ass. Like, I wanted to see that shit. She was like, fucking Nia Jax was shaking her stupid, disgusting, yet fat ass, and a fucking. Charlotte tapped it. Like, I wanted to see that disgusting shit. So, yeah, fucking Charlotte won, and who gives a fuck? They should all go fucking. I don't know. Just. They all, they all should fucking get attacked by giant pigs. I don't fucking know. There is a giant pig available. Like, I remember in the county fair. Maybe they, maybe that pig should just chase them, but it's just too fat. Same as Nia Jax. So, what's the difference? Have Nia Jax probably chased everyone, and maybe she could fucking collapse due to her fucking fatness. I don't fucking know. Bobby Lashley and Bill Goldberg having a face-off to end Raw. Goldberg announced that he will he came out retired to, for his son Gage Goldberg and wants him to be at SummerSlam. Uh, MVP says for the first time in his career, Goldberg has uh, to face an opponent that's more dominant than him. Then Lashley says he will end Goldberg's career in the house of the, uh, the Almighty. Goldberg says, That's bullshit! And it takes out Goldberg, or it takes out Lashley with Spirit to end Raw. It was fine. That was a fine ending, but it's like not even interesting. It's fine. Not terrible. But it's like, what is really the story? I mean, I like both wrestlers. It's not bad, but it's like not great. You know what I mean? And sadly, that's the most justifiable ending of Raw. Because if you end it with like that diva shit or whatever, or just end it with stupidness. I don't know what the fuck to say. This Raw would have been fucking terrible. But yeah, this Raw was terrible anyways. Cool scene Goldberg, but what else? Like, what's the fucking care? Just a lot of retarded gay shit going on, you know what I mean? I'm just keeping real motherfuckers. You know, again, this is justified for how tired I was. Because fuck Raw. Um, yeah, I'm just keeping real motherfuckers. Get your fucking gains and shit. You know, drink your cola so magnificently and shit. Cheers. It's good stuff. It keeps me going. Alright, guys. That's what I'm going to say, people. Fuck Raw. Uh, and yeah, fuck wrestling. It's just garbage. Alright, till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. Ah, oh, God almighty.